Hey guys, I wanted to put together a new video on the OBD Star uh, diagnostic and reset tool from Moto Million. So it just arrived today. I wanted to uh, kind of go over a couple things. So we have two bikes. We have a 21 Street Fighter uh, V4S and this is a 23 Street Fighter V2. So the 21 Street Fighter V4S uses this connection, which uh, you can kind of see. It's basically a flat pin connection, and the V2 uses the square pin connector. So here is the connection, connection location on the V2. You can see it's basically six pins that are square, and it is red. If I come over here to the 21 Street Fighter V4, here's the connection location. And basically that is a straight across pin, so it is completely different connection. So I wanted to show that first of all. Let's kind of go back over here. And get this thing powered up. Hold on one sec, let me go ahead and get the connection done. Okay, so I went ahead and got it connected. Now I'm going ahead and power it up. And as you can see, basically just plugs in. This piece plugs into here, and this piece is the universal that goes into there. Um, this also, right here, is where you can plug in the charging cable if you want to go ahead and run power, you know, basically plug it into DC. But if you got it plugged in the bike, it's going to go and work just fine. So on here, it basically says accept or uh, reject. So in order to accept, you got to scroll all the way down, hit accept, then you have the moto diag right here. So what I'm going to do is turn on the ignition and you can see we have a little service light in yellow at the bottom there okay I'm gonna go ahead and hit Moto Diag and select Ducati and select the version so I've downloaded all the updates uh, and you can do that through here and we're on version 3241 as of this time so it is processing I will say you will need to connect your Wi-Fi and you will need to create an account uh, through the user settings so that's all pretty easy there's no real big hiccup on it so you go diagnostics auto identify um, and read the VIN and I know that's the right one on this one. Accept. Okay, and it's reading correct, V2. And I'm gonna go ahead and do auto scan, enter. Okay, so now I'm gonna go service lamp reset. Hit that little arrow. I'm going to go special function and agree. And it's going to ask you to do a password of one, two, three. And the way you got to do it is you got to hit that little arrow and down. And I'm going to select oil service. Hit OK. And it says dashboard warning light deactivation successful. So next service in, uh, basically it puts it out a year from now, which is fine. And I'm gonna go hit enter, okay. And it's all done. So basically that is all you need to do. And that resets everything. So now I'm gonna go over here and you can see on the dash, no more service light. So that's it uh, I've already done it on the v4 and I got done with that unplugged it 
basically brought it over to this bike, plugged in the other connector, and went through the steps I just showed you, and that was it. Hopefully this is helpful. Any questions, feel free to post a comment, and I'll hopefully answer them the best I can for you. Okay, one more thing I wanted to go ahead and throw into this video um, was, so you can go under, before I was in special functions, and like I said, you have to go agree, do the password, one, two, three, hit the bottom arrow to clear everything and hit OK. And then you can do your oil service reset or your service Desmo reset or variation if you want a variation, your date in the dashboard. And the other thing I wanted to show you was here's DTC. So you can do a scan and this will read all your fault codes if you had them and this is where you clear all your fault codes um, so I went ahead I actually had a fault code on the V4 and I went ahead and cleared it and no issues anymore so go back and then you can go ECU information so it'll read your ECU and you can see where it reads through everything uh, it gives you all the information all the way down and you can do it um, live while it's running or you know sitting in idle with it off right now and just the ignition on so anyway um, and you can see up right there see service lamp reset or DCC or special functions and then you go back log out of the system exiting then you can go through and you can go into the engine ABS meter BBS Bluetooth eLock uh, a lot of those things I don't even know about. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, you can see how it reads it on the very top right here um, for what bike you're working on. And, you know, it's plugged in. It's reading the voltage right there. Uh, I'll hit escape. And that's about it for this one. So hope that is helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, please... I'll leave a question in the comments and I'll do my best to get it answered for you. Um, like I said, hopefully this is helpful. And I'll be putting out more videos on the items that we do and just try to make it a little easier for do it do your do it yourself. Um, like I said, like and subscribe and see you at the next one. Thanks.